What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're installing three different parts from AM Off-Road. I'll have a link to their website and their Instagram down in the description below. Of course, these are going on my JL Jeep Wrangler. So we have a new grill, we have LED taillights and rock sliders. Let's go ahead and get these out of the box. This is like deja vu, we just did this yesterday. I don't know. I might need some help though, Brian. <laughs> but Maddie can't do this. So we have all the parts unboxed now. I'll have a link to these specific products down in the description below because I'm not going to remember everything about them. But these are my LED taillights. They have a really nice smoked out look to them. And that looks pretty cool. It looks so cool. I'm not sure how the uh, design is of them yet. We'll have to see how the turn signals and the lights are and everything. Yeah. But uh, that's, that's gonna look really cool. Of course we have the rock sliders here. One step up from the factory ones that I have currently installed. These will be for sale if anyone's interested in them. Send us a message on Instagram. But these new ones here have really nice welds. I love the plate for the step that they have. American modified, you can see it right in it. All yeah. laser cut. That is really cool. I have been missing an actual step to get into the Jeep. And once it's lifted, those are definitely going to come in handy. And then last up, we have a new grill with a 20 inch LED light bar right on the top there. Oh, you can see it right there. Uh, so that is going to be pretty cool. We have a little bit of wiring to do. So we're going to start in the back with the taillights. This is probably going to be the easiest part to replace. Uh, all of them are actually relatively easy, but the taillights only have one bolt that are holding them in, in place. So you'll see on the back side, there's a small plastic piece that you'll have to pop out on both sides. And then you can also use the tool that came with your Jeep to remove your doors in order to take this bolt out. So with that one bolt out, it is literally that easy to do. And then you just have to pull on some tabs here in order to disconnect the light itself. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison now with the stock tail light and the new tail light. We are losing this big, ugly side reflector. We still have them, however. They are tinted though, so that's going to give it a really cool look. I can't wait to see the design of the brake lights and the turn signals. So now, flipping these over, it looks like we are going to be utilizing some of the stock parts. This hole right here is for the bolt that we took out to remove the tail light. So of course that is going to be important. I'm going to loosen up this connector here though. You just have to kind of get past the tab and we can go ahead and take that out. And then with a Phillips head screwdriver, there are three of these that we can remove in order to take this piece off. Oop. <laughs> So with that last one out, that just comes right off. And what I love about these taillights is everything is in the same exact spot. So there's a little hole here, we can line it up. The last step is to take this relay for the turn signals and safely secure it to the backside here. So there are some brackets that the kit comes with along with these double-sided clips here. I think I'm going to bypass these uh, brackets here and just take the screw holes for this and attach one of these to one side and then take the other side and put it up on this ridge here of the plastic. So while it's not entirely secure, it's really not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be sandwiched on the back side of this taillight anyway. And now we should be able to plug this back in, a direct plug and play kit. And from there, all we have to do is put that bolt in from the back side. Hey, you're gonna see this before me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's a before and after. What should I do first, uh, brake lights? Sure. All right, so here's brake lights. These are a lot brighter. instant LED on. Do that again. Wow, way better. Oh man. This, these are fantastic. <laughs> oh man. I'll do that so I can see. Whoa, ho, ho. you have to do the brake light for me so I can see. Dude, those look so much better. There's so much more lighting surface too. Wow, that just has a really nice glow to it. Oh yeah, the reverse light. So that's, I don't know if it's as bright, but it still looks pretty good.
I mentioned earlier, I will have these for sale if you're interested in them, message me. These are the factory Rubicon rock sliders. So with that out of the way, it is now on to the new ones. This is a very, very simple installation. You can do this by yourself because of these studs right here. It'll actually hold in place so you can line up where the bolts go. So I just have to wiggle this on. Oh, there we go. Actually got it. So now with our supplied hardware, you have these three holes up in the top section of this that you'll have to put in place. And then we have the nuts for the backside of these studs right here. And again, all 10 millimeter, and that's it for the install. Last up for today's video is the new grow, which I'm super excited about. And it's really not that hard to install or to take out the stock grow. So today's video or today's project has been pretty easy and relatively affordable mods that you can do to your JL or any Jeep Wrangler in general. So there are tabs on the top here. I'm just using flathead screwdrivers to go ahead and pop out. With all those tabs out, the last thing that holds this grill into place is tabs that are mounted on the backside of the grill. Now, if you have a stock front bumper, you can pop that out without hitting it. I wanna do my best to not have to take this bumper off. I don't have that much clearance, so I'm gonna have a second hand in helping me pop this out. And I may even put some kind of blanket or something on the backside of this bumper. So again, if you have a stock one, it's pretty easy to take off. Hold down, okay. There's a little bit of prep work we have to do to the new grill now, and you can see how much it's going to change the front end of my Jeep, along with this light bar. And we already have an idea of how we're going to wire this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. We have all the hardware needed. Those last clips that you saw us pull up from the bottom, this comes with clips that we're gonna go ahead and place on the bottom here, so that way it will go into the factory location. It also comes with the new push pins that you need and a new weather strip that will attach to the top section of the grill. Time for the reinstallation now and for the wiring, I'm just going to leave that up on the top here for right now. And then once I have this installed, we can focus on that. So doing my best and not damaging the front of the grill, hopefully I can get this on. finishes up with the grill installation and getting the light bar connected. I actually hooked it up to my ditch lights and on one setting you will see them all light up and then on the other setting it's just the DRLs for the ditch lights. So I think that's a pretty cool mod and it's they're actually really bright. Yeah. They're almost as bright as the ditch lights. So I have that functionality if I want to use that at nighttime. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, installing new taillights, new rock sliders, and the new front grille for my Jeep Wrangler. Again, make sure you guys check out AM Off-Road. I'll have a link to their website and the links to these exact products so you can get them for your own Jeep. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you want to see the rest of the build for my Jeep Wrangler. Of course, wheels, tires, and a lift will be coming soon. And we'll see you guys in the next video.